Okay, I just did a video about polycythemia, um, about a TV show that was talking about it as part of their plot line, and I thought, you know what, there's another one that we all have heard about, like, I guess it was last year, it was kind of all on the Facebook um, groups, and we looked at some of the cool um, parts of it, it was from General Hospital, and um, one of the main characters there, Anna Devane, played by Fanola Hughes, um, has polycythemia there. Um, apparently she was having, I think it was headaches and maybe like a claw or something. I can't remember what actually brought her to that. But I did see the episode where she um, was diagnosed and her daughter came to visit her. And, you know, there's you know, all this drama surrounding it. And they're, you know, what can we do? What about this? She asked a little, she had some questions, a um, little confusion. And... I haven't seen much after that, but I did find it interesting. Um, I know there was some controversy, actually, um, where they thought, well, is the drug company just trying to make money by giving uh, one of the general hospital characters a rare disease and, um, you know, trying to capitalize on this and sell their drug because it was sponsored by a drug company. Um, honestly, I don't know. I. I I always try and just kind of go neutral on a lot of things that really, I'm not going to make a huge change either way, but I do have to say it did influence me and it was a positive influence. Um, during that time, I didn't tell anyone I had PV and I was really nervous. I don't know. It's just, it's a long, long story for another day. Long story short, when they're talking about it on General Hospital and it was kind of open, I don't know if it's supported by drugs or not, right? The fact is, is it was bringing attention and I thought, you know, if they are going to be bringing attention through a soap opera, the least I could do is try and bring attention from a personal standpoint. And that is when I came out, essentially, that's so weird to say, I don't mean to say it like any smaller than what it is, but I came out and told people, hey, I have polycythemia of Um, When I first had it or went through it or whatever, I don't know. I um, felt strangely like ashamed or shamed by having it or just didn't want to, I don't like to burden people per se. And so I think that was a thing, but now that I'm open and out about it and saying, Hey, you know, I have this, this is a condition we're dealing with and I am moving on. And sometimes, you know, it's rough to say the least. And, um, and yeah, I'm trying to make it a more positive part of my life because it is there. And there you go no matter what, I mean, believe me, there's plenty of times where I say, I just don't want this anymore. I hate it. Right. It's there. So I'm trying to make it as something I research, I study. I'm not, you know, a professional by any means. I'm a human being with something that I didn't necessarily want but trying to make the best out of it. So lemonade out of lemons. Um, I am grateful for the episodes or whatever that I did see of general hospital where she was diagnosed with polycythemia vera. Um, whether it was drug sponsored or not, not my business kind of, I don't know what to say about that, but, um, it did help me and I'm very grateful for that. So pretty cool. Another thing I will be adding like a link or whatever I can find at the bottom. Um, so you're in the description. So you're able to kind of see what I saw if I can find it. So, you know, no guarantees, but I'll try and look for it. Um, so everyone can kind of get a heads up on it. It's pretty interesting. And um, also, please subscribe to my channel. It makes a difference. And um, I always forget to say it, so please do it. Thank you.